Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Good Very good. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? It was really busy. Okay. So you went to work today? Yes, I'm going to work. Okay. All right. You're feeling better now, Wendy? Yes, I feel better today. Good, good. All right, Thank nice. You, All right. So everybody, welcome back. Um, there was an, an issue with, um, with the connection. I was already connected and I was wondering why nobody had uh, connected uh, uh, in the session until somebody wrote Helen that she couldn't get in. So I realized that uh, I was doing something wrong. Anyways, uh, what is today's date? What is the date? Tuesday. Tuesday, eighteen. Okay, Tuesday the eighteenth. That is correct. What's the year? What is the year? Twenty thousand and twenty. Exactly, 2020. All right. So, do you guys remember the topics that we covered yesterday? What did we talk about? Do you remember? We talked about there is and there are. Good. There is and there are. Yes. <clears throat> Remember, we use there is and there are to talk about the existence of things. So if I say there are 14 states in El Salvador, that means that 14 states exist. If I say there aren't any animals in my house, that means that in my house, animals do not exist. So once again, there is and there are is used to talk about the existence of things. Okay, how do you make the negative uh, of there is and there are? How do you? There are. Okay, if it's plural, you say there aren't. And if it's singular? There isn't. There, there isn't. isn't. Okay, now how do you make questions with there is and there are? How do you make the questions? Is there? Uh huh. And are there? Very good. Is there and are there? Okay, good. Okay, um, any questions about there is or there are? No? Okay, um, any questions about the other topics we discussed? Is everything clear? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Say something. <laughs> yes, it's everything clear. Uh, Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Okay, so today is August the 18th, 2020. Um, we have different activities uh, for today. Um, how do you say there is and there are in the simple past? How do you say no había agua? Mm. There hadn't water. There wasn't. Wasn't. There wasn't water. Or if you want to be more specific, you will say there wasn't any water because we use any to make emphasis that something was completely negative. So there was, what would be the plural form of there was? There were. There were, okay. So how do you say no habían libros en la mesa? 
There weren't any book in the table. Okay, so there weren't any books on the table. Right, very good. Okay, um, any questions about there was or there were? So if it's positive, you say there was, there were. If it's negative, you will say there wasn't or there weren't. There weren't. If you want to make questions, you will say was there or weren't there. Now remember, the same way we make negative questions in Spanish, we also make questions, negative questions in English. Um, so how do you say, que no había un libro en tu cuarto? Que no había un libro en tu cuarto? That's a negative question. How will you say that in English? Que no había un libro en tu cuarto. Or, or how do you say the negative form? No había un libro en tu cuarto. What would be the negative version? Isn't there there wasn't a book, a book in, your, in room. your room. Okay, there wasn't a book in your room. Very good. Now, remember, to make questions, you have to bring was or were to the beginning. So how would you say, que no había un cuarto en tu libro? I mean, un libro wasn't cuarto. there. <laughs> maybe wasn't there a book in your room? Okay, good, good. Wasn't there a book in your room? Uh huh. Mire que no había unos tomates en la refri. How do you say that? Weren't there? Weren't there? Weren't there a tomatoes? Okay. In in, in the, the fridge. fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, hey, weren't there uh, tomatoes in the fridge? So it's a negative question. So the same way you make negative questions in Spanish, you can also make negative questions in English. So that's going to be our first activity. Uh, can you see the document? Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so with this document, we, we uh, you will answer each of the 16 items with one of the first uh, of the four options. So you have was, were, there was, or there were. Now, um, how do you pronounce this word? W-E-R-E. -E. W-E-R-E. -E. Where? Where? Okay. Is it where or were? Were. Now, how do you say where? Don't they in English? How do you say don't they in English? Don't where? They. Where? Where? Now, where? The, okay. When you say don't they, you say where. The past tense of are is not where. It's were. Were. Uh huh. How do you say "Donde estaba usted"? So you don't say "Where were you?" because you will be repeating the same word. So you're supposed to say "Where were you?" Where were you? Where were you? Right. So where were you? Where were you? Okay. So let me make um. Let me make the groups. And whoever you're working with, uh, try to get the right answers for the 16 items. So here we go. There was, there were, there wasn't, there weren't. Was there, were there, wasn't there, weren't there, and so on. Room four, room five.
Mercy. How are you, Mercy? Can you hear me? It, okay. the, the magic is is it clear the image not is clear. not clear yes it's true okay hold on okay hold on let me okay See this here. I hope that one is better. Can you see it better? I see. Yes, it's better. Okay. Sorry about the first uh, image. Don't worry. Thank you. All right, good. I think it's how old was you last year? I Okay, what is the what what is the form of verb to be that you use with you? With you is where were. Yeah. So were. how old were you last year? Ah. Uh -huh. uh, I understand. Is son dos preguntas en una vez. Right. Two questions in one. One. Two okay. questions in one. So for number two is how old were you last year? And for number for the B is I was 20 years old. Right, right. right. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, so see you, you have a problem with the song on your, comp on your computer. With the sound? Yeah, teacher. Can you hear me? C can you hear my voice? Yes, teacher. Okay. Who Who is your partner, uh, Fernando? Okay. Oh, Rocio. Rocio has problems Rocio, with your Rocio. audio. Yes, you have I problem with the song of your computer. Yeah, of computer. Okay, let me see how computer. I can fix this. Okay, hold on. Yes, I okay. forgot about Rocio. So Rocio will go to room two. Okay, hold on. He was at home. He was at home. Um, the number four, the bus was late. So Alex and Sam were also late. 
for this one. Her weren't, right? Wh which number are you doing? Uh, the number four. Okay, the bus was late, so Alex and Alex. Sam weren't. What? Okay. Okay, let, let, let me see. Hold on. Weren't. Yes, because he can't go at the school. Okay, the so place. the bus was late, so weren't. Alex and Sam. Mm -hmm. were also late for class this morning. So if the bus was late, the passengers were late. So it's possible. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Where? Mm -hmm. Okay. The number five. Uh, number, the uh, letter B. Here, it was. Uh, For I me, it's no, it's the letter. <laughs> I, in my okay. they were. in my opinion, it's the letter number number. It's the letter A. There were they around were forty good. people at the party. Okay. But I, I but I know what is your opinion. You are agree with me. Or no? Do you agree with uh, me? Do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. Maria, how are you? This... I'm fine, how are you? Okay. You finish until tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> okay. Rocio. I think letter, uh, letter A. Okay. Which, where out of which, 40 which, people which at the number party. are you doing? Which number are you doing? Number one. Number one. Okay, so number one says um, there were. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and right. number two. How, number two. How old you last year? For me. Carl is a police Teacher. officer. Yes. I have a doubt. Yes, ask me, Jimena. When you use he, she, or it, mm -hmm. you use was. Exactly. And when you use we, they, and your, you use were. Exactly. But in the le in the number eight, mm -hmm. we had a great time at the party. It were so fun. Uh -uh. No, it was. It was. So if you go to the beginning of the document, mm -hmm. you you have four options: was, were, or there was, or there were. Mm -hmm. So you have four options. So it was so fun. Estuvo divertido. Mm -hmm. It was. Because mm -hmm. when you say we had a great time at the party, period, mm -hmm. that's the end of the sentence. The second part is a complete different sentence. Oh. It was so fun. Ah, okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Number 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carl, two years ago. Two. I am a but I was a student two years ago. Okay. Is letter A. The table were of delicious things. There were some fresh fruit too. Mm -hmm. 
I think the the word where you use it in where uh, when you talk in in plural. Which and number are you doing? Number six. Okay, the table. What? The table where? Okay, when you say table, is that plural or singular? Singular. Okay, and what is the personal pronoun for the table? Is it he, she, you, we, they, it? What is the personal pronoun? It. 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 So what is the verb to be for it? it. The table was. 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 Now remember, oh, yes. in anything that is singular, uh, things or animals, if it's singular, you're supposed to say was. If it's plural, then you say were. So the table was of delicious things. Okay. What is the compliment? There was some fresh fruit. Yes, too. there was some fresh fruit too. Very good. No. Where, where were you where born? Were you born? Uh, I was born in. Yes, it's a letter B, right? Where and was. Uh -huh. Where and was. The movie really fun. The movie was really fun. We love all night. Was. Because he's talking about in third person. Um, mm, you yes. mean number 13? Yes, I'm number 15. Okay, the, the uh, number, the movie was really funny. We laughed all night, yes. All night, yes. Okay. The cookies were delicious, so I ate six of them. I think, eh, no estaba Maria, ¿verdad? Se fue. Where? I can Ar see you. Araceli, Araceli, she's Araceli? here. Yes. Oh. Where? Okay, then uh, number 15. I hear the chair. Yes, yes, I yes, know you're here. Hear you. Um, Araceli, the number 15, uh, anything interesting on TV, so I turn on the radio. There. there wasn't any interesting. Okay, number nine. My friend. Hi. The letter B. My mm -hmm. that, that, oh, the, that sentence is in plural. Yes. Which number? Number nine. Number nine. My friend and I. Mm -hmm. Where? It is plural. Uh, where? Yes. Where? Yes. Number 10. Uh, I think it's a letter, letter B because you use uh, was just with when you are talking about third person. Okay.
what happened to Rocio? Did she leave? Rocio. No, I don't see Rocio. Rocio was working with you guys in room mm -hmm. two. But I guess she left. Yes, I think. Okay. All right, did you guys finish uh, the exercise? Yes, we finished. Okay, so let me visit just one more room and then we go back to the main session. Uh -huh. I was born in Greece. Where was? Where was? Where was? Where was? Which number are you doing right now? 15. Letter 12. Okay, so you're, oh, no, just you're almost finished. Okay. Okay, uh, number yeah. 11. 11. Right. Where? Where? 11. Where? 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 Yes. Number 12. Where are you born? I born in Greece. What, what is your opinion, Fernando? For, for uh, I think is the letter B. Uh, where were you born? I was born in the in the ring. For yes. the I was the second in the present. Is it the first? Yes. first? The, the, um, the, you, you, uh, the, the answer is correct, but I think the, the context okay. of the sentence is in, in the is, is in the past because uh, you born you was born in Greece, so that happened uh, a few years ago, I think. Uh huh. It's, it's logic. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, 13. The 13, the moving. The 13. Did you guys did you guys finish? Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main session. All right. So um Let's check the answers. Um, what is the answer for the first one, for number one? There were around 40, 40 people at the party. Okay, so there were around 40 people at the party. Very good. What about number two, Jimena? How old were you last year? Mm -hmm. I was... 20 years old. Very good. Wendy, do you have number three? Hear me. Uh -huh. Number three, do you have number three, Wendy? Yes, uh, for the option A is where was, uh -huh. and the option B is was. Okay, very good. Number four, Coralia, do you have number four? Coralia. Okay, Ronald, do you have number four? Number four. The the bus was late, so Alex and Sam uh, 
were also late for class this morning. Very good, very good. Christian, do you have number five? Were you ill last week? Number five. Were you ill last week? Uh huh. No, I weren't. No, I wasn't. 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 Okay. okay. Remember that he, she, it, and I, um, they take a uh, was. Okay, thank you. Okay. Fernando, do you have number six? Okay. They take for was or delicious thing. Yeah. They, there was some phrase for it too. Good. Number seven, Maria, do you have number seven? Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. Um, I am a teacher now, but I was a student two years ago. Very good. Uh, Helen, do you have number eight? Yes. Mm -hmm. We had a great time at the party. It was some fun. Okay, good. Okay, uh, can you do the next one, Marcella? Number nine, my friend and I. Sorry. <laughs> my friend and I. I my, my friend and I. Where? Where? Okay, my friend and I were at the library yesterday afternoon. Sophia, Stephanie, can you do number 10? Where were you last night? Uh, why weren't you at home? Very good, nice. Stephanie Montano, can you do number 11? We can't hear you, Stephanie. Sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem. Car is a police officer now, but he was a waiter last year. Okay, very good. Jimena, can you do the next one? Where were you born? I uh -huh. was born in Greece. Good, very good. Coralia, can you do number 13? Yes. The movie was really funny. We loved it all night. We laughed all night. Good. Araceli, can you do 14, please? The cookies. We can't hear you, Araceli. We cannot hear you. Okay, can you give us the answer, Araceli? The cookies okay. were, were delicious. Good, the cookies were delicious. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. <coughs> Very good, thank you. Do I eat Okay. Fernando, can you do number 15? <coughs> I thought it. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, you're the one coughing. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There were anything interesting on TV, so I thought so I thought it on the right. Okay. On Is the it there wasn't or there were? There wasn't. There wasn't. Yes. Okay. There wasn't. Yeah, so you turn on the television, there is nothing interesting, so you turn on the radio better. Yes. And a volunteer to do the last one, number 16. The room was empty. The room there was were. empty. There were only some boxes on the floor. Good, very good, nice. Good job, good job. Any questions there? Is this uh, topic clear? So yesterday's topic and this one here is a topic that people use 
every day in a real life situation. So my suggestion is try to use this as much as possible. All right. So um, any questions or comments? No? No. Okay. So it's time to go to the book. You need to go to page 22. Do you remember the exercise we did yesterday about classifying uh, the topics in a manual? Do you remember that? Yes. yes it okay. So let me share exercise six. It's in the chat. Can you see it? May I have a volunteer to read the instructions in part six, please? Somebody, anybody. In pairs, uh -huh. it changed the index you create in the previous page with a classmate. Then give suggestions about how to improve, improve it using will be better or Alter alternative expression. Very good, thank you. So yesterday, um, you guys classified the topic. So you said, I think the most important is the dress code and the least important is the tips and, and, and taxes, for example. Now it's your time to analyze your options and express ideas on how you can improve uh, this particular service. So uh, for this one, you need to go back to page 21 or your notebook and look for the classification that you guys made. So for uh, getting to know the menu, how would you improve that section in a restaurant? You will say, wouldn't it be better if they give them uh, a test before they start serving the food? or prevention of accidents? Wouldn't it be better if everybody receives a first aid uh, education before they, they start working? So are the, question, are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me reassign you. So I have seven, okay. So we'll have room six, move to room six, move to room seven, move to room seven, exchange with her. Exchange with her and exchange with her. So, da -da -da -da. move to room six. Okay, pair, pair, pair. All right, so it's time to work. Um, in groups or in pairs and classify, uh, talk about your classification and give suggestions of how things can improve. Samuel, welcome back. Okay, so. Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right, good. So let's get to work. Loading.
what to, what I do in my job when yes. I have a new new a new uh, training. Okay. Hi, teacher. I uh, I'm going to ask Helen for the exercise they do yesterday because I was absent. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Helen can explain to you very well. Yes, he is teaching me right now. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, no. The prevention of accidents, then getting to now the menu. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, we create a new regulation. The, the fear ocean is uh, accident okay. prevention and the safety. Okay. We have to give a, we have to give an explanation about that the the fear the fear also on the right also the prevention on the safety. Right. So how can you improve that scenario in your workplace? Okay. So just just give uh, suggestions. That's it. That's all. That's all you need to do. So you're supposed to say, wouldn't it be better if we call the Red Cross and they give us training, for example? Teacher, I can uh -huh. read. I can. We can create one horsel. 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 What is horsel, Fernando? Exactly, you have to create one. So you said, how can we improve the dress code? Or oh, okay. one way to include the dress code is give free uniforms. That would be a suggestion. Yes. Okay, teacher. Good. There is. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Hello you can teacher. Explain the activity, please, because yes. I connect. Oh. Late. Yeah, and, you and were my computer is. Yes, um, I don't know. Why. Okay, so yesterday the doesn't work. Let me let me let me show you. <laughs> let me send you the picture. Give me a second. The cell phone that I have is not the best, so it's a little bit um, slow. <laughs> But, okay, so I'm sending an image to the WhatsApp chat. Um, in that image, you have different options of what to include in a training manual for a waiter or waitress. So you have to decide which one you consider is the first priority? What is the second, the third, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. 
that was yesterday's activity. Today's yeah. activity is to uh, give suggestions how to improve each each um, each scenario. Okay. Right. So uh, it's. We will make. Okay, continue, continue, please. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. You you will make suggestions. I think that the best way to improve dress code is by giving free uniforms to the workers. That can be an option. That can be a suggestion. Okay. Got it? Got it. Got it. Thank you. We have, to, we have to make 10 suggestions because our 10, 10 Right. Points. So just give one suggestion for each one. That's it. Okay. 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 Good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. El manual El, okay. de entrenamiento para Yo, meseros. Uh, Ajá. Okay. So, which one are you discussing right now? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? No, él no anotó ayer su, su orden. Okay, su... he didn't take notes about the order in the... Okay, so what you're doing is very simple. You go yes. like uh, uh, like this, the image that I sent you said, okay, uh, setting a table. How can we improve setting a table? You said, oh, I think a good idea is to watch videos, um, uh, receive training. Uh, so just use your imagination and give suggestions for, for, for each um, scenario. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Okay, two, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Araceli have problems with the connection. Oh. I write the I write the the exercise. Okay. Because she doesn't listen to me very well and I don't listen. Enough. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> when that happens, it, it's good that you tell me so I can put you to work with other people where you guys can interact. So and let, how I eh, como lo, lo hago? Okay, so you have to look for, um, you have to raise your hand or in the lower part, it uh -huh. says, uh, uh, ask for help. And when you press that, I get the signal and I, and I visit you. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So let me move you to room, let me see. I will send you to room four, Jimena. Move to room four, and I will send Araceli to room seven. Room seven.
it would be better if it was shared. Prevention, I don't understand this topic. Which topic, Wendy? Will be better. I don't oh. know how I have um. to make this. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, when you use wouldn't it better, it's because you're giving suggestion. No sería mejor. So you use wouldn't it be better when you're making suggestions on how to make changes or how to improve something. So um, that's it, it's it's very simple. So for every situation, you have to give a suggestion on how you can improve that particular scenario. So you said, um, the first one says, um, uh, requesting a shift change. Imagine that you work in the mornings, but on Friday you need the morning free. So you say, wouldn't it be better if we have an extra server or an extra waiter to be ready for emergencies? So for every scenario, you just have to give us suggestions on how to improve uh, the situation. Oh. We are going to create the, the situation about the top. No, the, 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 the situation is already there. It's, it's in the chat. I sent it to you. Uh, it was the last image that I sent you. Setting a table, decanting wine, requesting a yeah. So what you need to do is go one by one and, and advise or give suggestions on how you can improve that particular scenario. Oh, okay. Do, do I make myself clear? Yes, I. Okay. I understand. No clear. Uh, Helen? I think I do. Okay. I understand. True. Uh, furniture. And Shoes. Mm -hmm. More shoes. Those prefer shoes, I think. <laughs> yes. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Fine. I see, see you. What is it? I see you. Yes. <laughs> How are you guys doing you, with you get You get a new hairstyle. Oh, no, it's not a new hairstyle. It's just that I got a, a haircut today. Ah, okay. Yeah, the style has been the same for a couple of years already. A couple of years. Really? Yeah. So I just went to the to the to the barber today. Yeah, I went to the barber shop today to get a to get myself a haircut. Maybe maybe this is another characteristic. Characteristic is. Yeah, characteristic. Uh, that I thought that you are military. Oh, no, not, <laughs> not, not really. You know, I always like uh, short hair, really, really short hair. And uh, I, I like to have uh, a, a, a short hair haircut. Okay. Yep. So did you guys finish the exercise? Yes. yes okay, so it's almost time to go back to the main session. Uh, following the schedule, that they mm. they have a, a entry time. I think they make no. They can have. They can have. I think. Uh -huh. They can have. They. Have a yes. Poster. Uh, it's the same. We are talking about uh, hora de entrada, but I think that uh, is maybe it could be another word uh, um, that that explain the the same expression the, uh, instead of entry time. Okay, check in. Check in is valid. Oh, check in. Okay, thanks. Yeah. I know that it exists another word. Yeah, so check in is good. Check in. Or the arriving time or the starting time. 
Oh, arriving time. Yeah. Okay. It, it will be All better. Right. Rocio, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you fix your headset, your speaker? What was the problem? I don't know. <laughs> Jonathan Guzman helped me. Who helped you? Jonathan Guzman. Oh, I don't know. oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes, thank you. Very good. Yeah, you know, sometimes I have problems with my computer too, and suddenly it goes back to normal. So, you know, when you press something by accident, you know, things like that can can happen. Can be this case in my case, can be probably. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Yes, teacher. All right. Teacher. Yes, Jimena. I don't have, if I understand correctly, the uh -huh. instruction. <laughs> okay. But, for example, I select following the schedule. Okay. And my, my sent, our sentence is, it would be a good idea to reward the people that be on time. Perfect. Excellent. Ah, okay. That is good. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, that that can, it helps the restaurant because, uh, uh, you know, like you, you make sure that your workers are always on time. And if you mm -hmm. get a reward by being responsible, that is motivation for the for the worker too. Ah, okay. Okay. Yep. All right. And so, how many sentences maybe we have? No, uh, maybe you chose five different scenarios mm -hmm. with five different suggestions. Ah, but, okay. But, but it's time to go back to the main session so we can share all the sentences there. Okay, teacher. All okay. right, good. Hello, hello. Hello. All right. So before I forget, I need to take attendance. Sophia Stephanie. Uh -huh. Fernando Arturo. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Coralia Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Ronald Humberto. Present. Very good. Marcela Orellana. Present. Good. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Very good, Jimmy. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present, teacher. Very good, Christian. Uh, Josué Edgardo. Uh -huh. He's absent. Jimena Alexandra. Present. Very good. Uh, Samuel Rosales. Present. Very good. Rocío Mejía. I'm here, teacher. Very good, Rocío. Thank you. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Nice. Uh, Raceli De Santos. Araceli. Present. Very good. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Present. Very good. I hear you, Araceli. Very good. Maria del Carmen. Present. Very good. Uh, Helen Lopez. I'm here. Very good. Uh, Luis Alberto. Present, teacher. Very good, Luis. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good, Stephanie. Uh, Christian Omar. He's absent. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Very good. 
And Magdalena, are you here, Magdalena? I don't think so. All right. So um, let's go back to the uh, activity you were doing. How can you improve the service of setting a table? What would you recommend? Yes. What would be your ideas or your suggestion if you are in a meeting? How can you improve the service of setting a table? Somebody, anybody? Uh, uh, Helen? About setting a table for me is, uh, it will be better to have an extra uh, training season every weekend okay. about setting setting tables or different type of setting tables. Okay, good. Now, what aspects do you think are necessary when you're setting a table? Aspect. Which um, tools do you order? Uh-huh. Which tools? Yeah, like what do you need to set a table properly? Okay, you need the... I don't know the exactly name of the things in English. <laughs> okay, utensils. But you like need the the fork, the knife, the spoon. For the knife, the spoon, the servietta. Napkins. The napkins. I sometimes you have to use a a big plate. Uh huh. That you don't use to 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 put the food. You use to. Put another, the main dish or the salad. Okay, okay. Um, and then you have to use the glass, the different type of glasses. Okay, right, I mean, right. Copas. Yes, bathrooms. cups, cups, exactly. glasses. Uh-huh. All those things. Okay, good, very good. Okay, um, now imagine that you need a shift change. What would be a good way to make a request for a change of shift class? So imagine that you are scheduled to work in the morning, but five days from now, you need the morning to go to the bank or do something personal. How would you improve that process of changing a shift? Somebody, anybody. Uh -huh. Yes, somebody, Marcella, Mercy, Wendy, Ronald. Yes, so in, in not necessarily in a, in, a, in a restaurant, it can be in your office. So how will you make a, a shift request uh, when you want to change your shift? Mm -hmm. You can send an email okay. asking for the for the change schedule. Okay. Uh, for me, it's the best way because you have a back uh, back up. Respaldo, un backup. Report. Thank you. Uh -huh. You have a backup for for the planilla. Uh, payroll. Payroll. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Okay. And dress code. That's going to be the last one we talk about. Dress code. How can we improve dress code, class? I put it will be a good idea if you have a custom day. A custom? Day. Custom okay. day. Okay. What is a custom day, uh, Jimena? When you... Um, put another type of, of clothes. Oh, okay. All right, good. Any other suggestions or questions, people? In our, in our case, uh, we think it will be better to give uniform for employees. Okay, good. Free or do they have to pay for it? Mm, depends. Depends maybe on what the employees, maybe the, the employees can be paid for the uniform. 
Okay. But uh, they can pay in, in, how do you say, plazos? Installments. Quotas. That, that means? Ah, okay. Yeah, installments. Can you, can you write it on the chat? Sure. On the chat. Sure. Right now. Thanks. Sure, no problem. Uh, installment right there. Installment, mm, okay. So you say give uniforms to the employees and that will be deducted in different installments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, teacher, it, it's good, uh, it, it would be a good idea for color staff to identify themselves with a uniform. To oh. make it more formal. Okay, good. Make it more formal, yes. Right, right. What about the rest of the class? Do you guys like uniforms? We are talking about dress code and also we think it will be better to use a new uniform for, for a waitress and a, and a waitress, but also it can be the difference uh, with a manager uh, using a different, oh, excuse me, wear a different uniform. Okay, good, good. Do you wear a uniform where you work, Rocio? No. No. Would no. you like to use a uniform? Really? I wouldn't <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Nice. That, that's a good suggestion. Does anybody else have uh, other comments or suggestions on how to improve a uh, dress code? No? Okay, good. So with this activity, we finalize a uh, part three of the previous page. And uh, now we go to, where is this? Let me see this here. This right here. Now it's going to be a, a, a different activity where you guys will be talking in, um, in a, in a, not in a free way, but it's not going to be any controlled uh, practice. So let me see this here. Share screen. Okay, do you see the questions? Yes. Can you see the questions? Okay, every yeah. every question, they ask you something about animals. What is your opinion about animals, class? Do you like yes, animals? Yes, I love yes, animals. Yes, I like animals. Okay, animals are really cool. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. 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 Do you like big dogs or small dogs or medium dogs? Small ones. Both of the medium dogs. Okay. All right. So uh, let me show you the questions here. Can you take a screenshot of the of the computer or yes. in your cell phone? Yes. Okay. So let me see this here. I will assign you to work together. We'll move to five. Move to five. And six. Move to room six. Move to room six now this is the space where you guys um talk with all the knowledge that you have so you don't have to follow a particular pattern or structure 
So I will exchange him with her. So here we go. Move to Hold on. Move to room eight. All right, so does everybody have the questions? Yes, I have the questions. Okay, so I'm going to move this person to room seven. And here we go. Okay, so Jimena and Helen, you guys are working together. Do you have an, a screenshot? Yes. Okay. I share my screen. Question number one, do you like animals, Jimmy? Yes, I like animals. What is your favorite animal? Favorite animal is dog. Only dog. Only dog. Okay. How are you? Fine. Precious. Okay. okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, do you like animals? No, the second, the second, what is your favorite, what, what is your favorite animal? Favorite animal. My favorite animal is a cat. Okay. What is your favorite animal? <laughs> What's the name of the cat? What I cat? Don't, I, don't, I don't have a cat. But it's my favorite animal. Because <laughs> uh -huh. very, very close. Parrots. Parrots. Yes, teacher. I don't see the parrots. And the parrots. In Ayustustepec. <laughs> Where do you live, uh, Luis? In Ayustustepec. Okay. They don't, they, they don't have parrots there? I don't see. Okay. What about kusukos? Kusukos. Uh, this animal don't see uh, in, in the... In the in the field. In the field. In the field. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. 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 The mascot of this, the county is El Cusuco. Oh, really? <laughs> sí. Oh. A Ustustepeque mean lugar de Cusucos. Exactly. Okay. So you live in La Santísima Trinidad? Yes, teacher. One, two, or three? And, and three. 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 So near. And the beginning. Near exactly. The, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, very good. Are you to the picket? Yes, teacher. All right. Question is 
Tatatam. Do you have the questions? Yes. Yeah. The okay. first question is, do you like animals, Coralia? Yes, I like animals. What kind of animals? Uh, the dogs, special? I didn't know it. I don't know if, if you hear me. Hello. I can't. No, it's terrible. Is somebody there? No. Hello. What happened? Hello. It's a war. Hello. I I can hear you. Yes. Somewhere, can, can you hear me? I can see you. Someone has a problem. Hello. Samuel, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. He can hear us. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Ya les oigo. Okay, good. I was sharing the screen, but I don't know if that stop okay yeah the badger yes and in front there in the garden which question are you discussing right and now what is the what are the names of your dogs? <laughs> okay. We are talking about my dogs. <laughs> All right, good. Go ahead. Okay. Excuse me, Mercy. What are the names of your dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, what do you think? The baby hippopotamus is cute. Yeah. No, teacher. <laughs> you, you, you don't like uh, hippos, uh, Stephanie? <laughs> no. You don't like that Son babosos. <laughs> <laughs> Me gusta. I, I like the, the koala bears or panda. <laughs> Pero but not hippo. No, no. You know, and, and, and when the hippos are babies, you know, it's yes. normal that they interact with people <laughs> because they're not aggressive. When they are big, it's a different story. How, how do you say in English babosa? Uh, they, they use a lot of saliva. Saliva. Uh, I think. Yeah, they, they create a lot of saliva. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes. Guacala <laughs> teacher. So you don't like that animal, Stephanie? No. Uh, dogs, cats, yes. Uh -huh. But hippos, no. <laughs> Not hippos. Hippos are no. cool. <laughs> hippos are cool. You know, and, no. and, but they're they're very aggressive and they're very territorial. Yes. Yeah, they're very protective with their babies. Okay. 
Yep. Like elephants. Right, like elephants. Elephants can be dangerous too. Yes. True. Okay. All right. Más bien. Teacher, I don't understand the number seven. Number seven, do you think animals? No, 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 the eight, the eight. Number eight. Do you uh -huh. think animals would rather not be kept think? as pets? So in other words, do you think animals prefer to be captive? Mm, okay, no, I think. They want they to be free. Think. Yes. They want to be free. What is your opinion, Araceli? Mm. Do you think animals to be, they prefer to be captive or free? They... Captive. Do you think okay. they, they like, uh -huh, captive or free? I prefer free. Yeah, free. And I know that animals, they get stressed when they are kept uh, captive. So it's not their natural habitat. But for the dogs, I think is, I would prefer ca raptor because if they live in, in a street, all the people, um, will be a bad person with with them okay right yeah in some cases in some scenarios i think it's better for the animals to be captive uh because they can receive more protection you know but yeah in in, in most of the cases i think they would rather be uh uh free they prefer to be free Yes, exactly. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Which number are you doing? In the... Are there any dangerous animals in your country, teacher? Okay, good. Are there any dangerous animals in El Salvador? In the sun and in the Salvador, the animal more dangerous is the crocodile, in the tigers, in the tiger. Tigers, tigers in El Salvador. In the in the in the zoologic. Oh, in the zoo. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, but the question is oriented for animals that are free. So crocodiles. Is, okay. Uh huh. Uh, the, uh, uh, free the cockroaches. Maria. Serpientes. Snakes. Snakes. Okay, snakes, crocodiles, pumas. No teacher, pumas. No. no. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Monkeys. Monkeys. No, the monkey is very. Friendly. Friendly. Yes, it, teacher. It is, in the... Uh-huh. Uh, how do you say alacranes, teacher? Scorpions. It's scorpions. Or spiders, like tarantulas. Spiders. Oh, yeah, spiders. Okay. Mosquitoes, mm. zancudos. The mosquitoes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, mosquitoes are very dangerous. Yes. It's the most yeah, that... dangerous animal in the world. Yes. The most dangerous. Yes. Okay. All right. Rather, rather, prefer, prefer rather, rather, rather. Hi, teacher. Rather. rather. What do you mean, rather? Prefer, right. prefer. Prefer. So okay. I can ask you, Lewis and Christian, would you rather have pizza 
or soup. Oh, I would rather have pizza. I yes, pizza. 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 <laughs> so rather <laughs> means prefer. Okay. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay. So how would you how would you translate question number eight in Spanish? Hey. <laughs> Do you think animals would rather not be kept as pets? So in other words, the question is. Do you think animals prefer to be free or captive? I think the animal will, will uh, be free. To... Exactly. Animals prefer to be free. Yes. yes. Yeah. Are there any exceptions of animals that should be kept uh, captive? Uh, when the animals are dangerous, teacher. Maybe, okay. I think. Okay. All right. The what? carnivorous. Okay. Animals, the, the carnivorous. Yeah, the carnivorous animals. The carnivorous animals. Okay. The carnivorous animals. Can, can you mention examples of the dangerous animals that we have in El Salvador? I, and they, they are, uh, uh, a live, uh, pocos, como there I, a few. There are a few. I think the snipe. The snipe. And the only I see the dangerous. Okay. What about crocodiles? Um, I don't see crocodiles in 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 Morazan, uh, uh, in the news. Uh, there, there I uh, see crocodiles. Yeah, because Rio Lempa has crocodiles. Crocodiles. Oh. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, people, he, he has wings. Yeah, and people sometimes they swim without knowing. Right. I, I don't know this. Teacher. Yeah, yeah, you can find in Aguachapan, Barra de Santiago, uh, they have crocodiles too. Yep. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> so don't don't swim Danger. there. Swimming is dangerous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. That you mean? Uh huh. Yes, I think that. Uh, Some they, people using pigs like a like a pets. Uh huh. Like a I pet. saw inter on internet. Yes, and then I think that is not. By good uh, by because... I think they looks. Who I think I prefer uh, I prefer to have a pet like a pig and and don't eat pig. Yes, you prefer. <laughs> you <laughs> prefer take care, take care yeah. about that. But I think the pig is. Some animals, yes, because you don't. No, you can have a Ah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, some just say, do you think? Uh, do you think? Ah, querido! Mentira, eh? If you rescue an animal, I think, yes. But if you buy a uh, raza... Breathe? Uh, Breathe. Breathe. Breed animal. Ajá. Animal is explotado. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher? B R E E D. E R E E D. D as in dedo. Yes, D as in David, exactly. <laughs> Can you spell okay. it again? B R E E D. Very good. Breed. Breed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Just what kind they of has in the house like a pet. What Snakes. animals? My goodness. Snakes. Snakes I are work... cool. No. no. <laughs> I work with someone that has in in the house two snakes like a pet. But are the snakes uh poisonous? 
I don't remember. Are they completely free or do they have a special space? Yeah, they have a special space. Okay. What color are the snakes? Are green with black, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, that's, that's one of the best things about snakes. They come in some nice, colorful, uh, they have nice skin, different colors and everything. I know. You don't like snakes, Mercy? No. No? And you, Rocio? I hate that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you don't like snakes either, Rocio? No, I don't like it. I hate it. Okay. Snakes are cool. <laughs> but it, it depends. That person, that person uh, create an... I Concept. forget the name for ratas, ratones. Oh, for for uh, mice and mice. rats. Mice, and then give them the mice for the for snakes. food. For food. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. That, that that's a that's a good technique to eliminate uh, rats and mice. <laughs> But here in El Salvador, I think that is a, a crazy idea. Yeah, it, it's not normal. It's not normal. No and she lives in Soyapango. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. No. In my case, uh, uh -huh. maybe the, the baby hippo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he insists on the baby hippo. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. Did Did you visit the zoo when it was open, Jimmy and Stephanie? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. When was uh, the long last time? time ago? <laughs> long time ago. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. And you, Jimmy? I don't, I don't like the, the zoo, the visit the zoo. Okay. Yeah. N animals are cool. Animals are cool. Yes. Como se dice, I don't like, me gusta verlos encerrados. I don't like to see captive animals. Captive. Captive. Yes. So you say, I don't like to see captive animals. Okay. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. Let's go back. I would like to be a dog. And cats too, but I don't like cats. I For me, dogs. cats are, are really... Uh, you are searching for troubles with Marcela because they love cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh like Marcela my knows. Marcela, <laughs> Marcela loves, loves cats. cats. So you are my cats take a shower. <laughs> I know. Teacher, we... Yeah, Marcela is the expert with the cats. My yeah. cats are clean. Marcela. Because I clean every day. Yeah. But now every cat yes, is Louis. like yours. How do you say ronronier? How do you say what? Ronronier. 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 What is ron ro ro uh, that word? Ronronier. Like birds. Vibre. <laughs> oh, they are uh, like, like, what Helen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do it. <laughs> they are uh, Helen. What happened? What is the uh, word? I'm reading the uh, message. Sorry. They Helen, buzz. Explain what is ronronier, please. Just one more time. No, no, it's only once, <laughs> and that's it. If you see it. Good. If you don't, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the the word is buzz. 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 Yeah, they buzz. Like B. Uh huh. <laughs> right. Yes. 
Okay, good. Um, any questions or comments about animals? No? Okay. So, um, do you have animals at home? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Cats, dogs, roosters. My brother. Pigs. <laughs> Geckos, teacher. Geckos, cockroaches, rats. The turtle. Turtles. Yeah, turtles are cool. Turtles are cool. Turtles. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the book. Uh, we're on page 23. Are you on page 23? Page 23 has a question for you guys. Let me, um, let me see this here. Ha, ha, ha. One second, group 18, take the picture and it's right there. Okay, so I'm sending it to the WhatsApp chat. Okay, did you receive it? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you please read the questions, please? Anybody? <laughs> Is there a quality department in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Very good, sure. thank you. All right, so you have to answer those two questions. So let me see. I will move this person to room three. I will move this person to room three as well. And who else? Exchange with her. Exchange with her. Exchange with her. Exchange with him. Exchange with him. And I will exchange him with her. All right, so here we go. Answer those two questions, please. Let's go. Stephanie. Hi. How are you, Stephanie? So, so, teacher. How was your day? Very busy. Busy. All, all, all month is very busy. Oh, uh, uh, uh -huh. I, ver, yo debo. I have I, to? I have to send, to send uh, many reports at uh, Superintendencia del Sistema Financiero. Okay. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. work in a bank, Stephanie? Uh, no, uh, Inclusión Financiera. Okay. Uh -huh. es, es de remesas, como AirPack o Western okay. Union. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. How many years have you been doing that? How many years? Have you worked in, in that company? How much time uh, have you worked in that company? Five, five years. Five years. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Are you an accountant? Yes. Good. Uh, my my charge, my cargo, my cargo. Yeah, my position. My position in the company is internal auditor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And if, uh huh. In this month, July and August, I 
I have to send uh, the reviews, the semestral reviews, uh, the old department. Okay, so is July and August uh, two months that are busy for you? Yes. You have a lot uh, of yes. work. A lot of work. My, my, ah, la jornada de trabajo es la, la. My shift? My, my shift work is uh, start at 6 a.m. and nunca termina. And you never finish. I, I never finish. I work Saturday, Sunday, night, day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, seven twenty-four. Okay. Uh, so, are you working from your house right now, or do you physically need to go to the office? Home office. Okay. Home All office. right. Uh, desde since since since, since uh -huh. twenty-five March. Uh huh. Since March twenty-fifth. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Now, and and where is the office? Like. Uh, on a regular season, where do you have to report? I report a uh, matrician or, or matrix. Matrix company uh, is it, in Houston. Oh, it's in Houston. Uh huh. And, and here in El Salvador, where is the um, the office? Where is the office? My office is in um, Complejo Financiero CISA. Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla, exactly. Oh, near the pyramid. Yes. Okay, yes. good, good. Mm -hmm. So you're usually, right, mm -hmm. so you're usually busy uh, every day, Stephanie? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, normally the 10th, Los primeros diez días. The del first mes. ten days of the month. The first ten days of the month, I nunca estoy para nadie. Okay, so you're very busy the first very. ten days of the month. Yes. Okay. And my day is to computer. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. For eh, avanzar en todo el trabajo. Si no, oh. no salgo. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Do you have mm -hmm. other people doing similar jobs than you or are you the only person? The team is um, is chair for the countries. The company um, have uh, sucursales. Branches? Branches, okay. Uh -huh. uh, the company have branches in Houston, Guatemala, Monterrey, uh -huh. uh, DMX, Ciudad de México, uh, Panama, and El Salvador. Okay. And my team in in in, in auditoria in audit in audit. Uh, we are five person okay for, for one for for country mm -hmm. one for each country and one what country, country what country are you responsible for i responsible for all company oh, for mm -hmm. for different countries yes i i como, como digo yo soy como la manager uh -huh. okay so you're the manager of the of the team yes mm -hmm. oh okay so that's, that's the reason why you have a lot of work. Yes. Okay. And, and my, my boss said, ¿Cómo es que no hablas inglés? Necesito que hables inglés. Uh -huh. Porque lo que me quita mucho tiempo es cuando yo recibo todos esos reportes que vienen de FinCEN, que vienen de, de la CNBB de México y que vienen en inglés y que hay que pasarlos al español y hay que devolverlos en inglés Ajá. porque la super aquí los quiere en español y ahí es donde yo estoy trabada traduciendo y traduciendo y entendiendo y revisando. Okay. Y eso me quita tiempo. Ok. Uh, si alguna vez usted tiene alguna duda, estoy a sus órdenes. Si yo estoy disponible, yo con gusto le... le, 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 le... 
aclaro cualquier término con el cual usted no esté segura. It, it's Gracias. my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. So send me a message and y si yo tengo la respuesta, pues yo se la doy. Thank you. Okay, good. All right. So la voy a mover ahorita de, de okay. la voy a enviar a, al número 6. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. All right, good. Hello, hello. Hello. What happened to Marcella? Uh, Marcella. <laughs> Marcella tiene. Ay, Mar she is. Uh, sick? She's sick. Uh, I'm taking my medicine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have allergy. A skin allergy? No, from my nose. Oh. It's not my cat. It's okay. My cat. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah, because you have five cats, but cats are not the reason why you have the the allergy. No, no, my cat is not the reason. Okay, very good. Someday, exactly. <laughs> Someday in another world. In a, uh -huh, I think. In, in another world, world, maybe, uh huh. But at the school, is is different. You consider that because it is at school, it can be different. I work, think work, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm, I consider it right. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Mm. Okay. Did you finish answering the two questions? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. So uh, is there a quality department in your workplace? In my workplace, I think no. Uh -huh. But we divide it. Uh, for example, I teach uh, informatics. I uh -huh. have an, a department of informatics. If the other teacher teach English, they have a department of English. Right. But mm -hmm, a quality department, we don't have on on school okay do you have supervision jimena like someone comes to your classroom and evaluates your class yes my the the boss of the department uh -huh. and the coordinate cor, la coordinadora yeah, the cor, coordinator the coordinator mm -hmm. both evaluate my my class okay good how frequent do you have these evaluations, Jimena? Right now, uh, I don't uh, evaluate for my my boss of department and uh -huh. my coordinator. But at the school, it maybe once a month they visit, visit my my class. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. They ask you for lesson plans, attendance, or? Yes. I give the, the planning every, when we start uh, a semester. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. What about you, Rocio? Is there a, a department, a quality department in your work office? In my case, we don't have exactly a quality department, but I, I don't know how to explain you because uh, the secretary uh, can be the the quality department. Okay. How many people work with you, Rocio? Six person. Okay, six people. Yeah, six okay. people, yes. All right. Two people for each department. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. So let me see this here. Just to, for example, the address of the person. In, in, in some case, yes, I have access uh, to see this, this information. But not, not always. Not always, no. Ah, okay. 
it's pretty interesting. I don't, I don't um, have uh, the idea that uh, send remesas and receive remesas was in or the month they pass a report. There is a are you evaluated the work from that report. Boss provide the information. Is everything in the fine or there are impro in improve improvements? Improvements. Improvements. Mejora, brother teacher. Improvements, yes. Improvements. Okay. All right. So I think it's time to go back to the main session. And here in Samuel. Really? Not because I were there. It's because it's true. More than Taurinos. More than Taurinos. Taurinos is like a water, only water. And mm -hmm. mine, our, our soup, is more like a, it's like cream. So it's more delicious. What is Taurinos? Taurinos is a Mexican restaurant here in San Miguel. Oh. It's like Zocalo in San Salvador. Okay. Is it yeah. very popular? In San Miguel, yes. Is it expensive? No, not too much. Not too much? It's, no, not too much. Okay. All right. I think it's time to go back there to... There are Taurino in, in San Salvador. Where? Uh, near from... Um, how do you say embajada? Emba embassy. 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 Me Mexico Embassy. Oh, in Colonial in San Benito. Mexico Embassy. Yeah. Okay, because in front of, oh, yeah. And I think there's also a fisheria, I think, or fish and chips, yeah. something. Next to, next to fisheria. Okay, all right. Good, all right, let's go back to the main I session. recommend you that, that is it, is, it, is it good food? Yeah. What kind of food do they have? It's Mexican food. Mexican Tacos, food. Tortas. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. El alambre bueno. Really? Yeah. I love yeah. Mexican food. <laughs> Mexican food is one of my favorites. Delicious. Yeah. I think that you are starving. Maybe. Helen. Ah, I'm a starving. I'm an eating. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go yeah. back. Okay, bye. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> I stay alone. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't move to another room? No. Oh. <laughs> I, I, write, I write in the chat. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ni el diablo me quiere, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No? no okay, so once again, thank you very much for making the space, the time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Sleep well. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 See ya. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question that Ask me, I was somebody. absent. I, 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 I was absent yesterday. Okay. So okay. I don't know if I have to make a report to you or something like that. Uh, did, um, did Inglés Corporativo contact you? Did they ask no. you why you were absent? No, they don't ask me. Okay, so uh, and what's the reason you were absent, uh, Samuel? Uh, the day before yesterday, I don't know if I tell you that I was sick. Right, right. So yesterday, I feel with mm, calentura, temperature. Fever, yeah, temperature. Ah, uh, with fever. I feel with fever and, and headache. So headache. I try to rest. Right. Headache. Uh -huh. And I try to, to rest, and I don't feel the time, so I fall asleep. Okay. 
All right. And so no, uh, I, if, if they contact you, just give them the same explanation you're giving me right now that you were feeling a, a, a little bit sick and and uh, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Thanks, teacher. All right, good. All right. Yeah, pass the list, teacher. Yes. Uh, let's see, Louis, Louis. Yeah, I got you here, Louis. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right. Bye. Have a good, good night. night. Bye bye. Bye, someone. Good night. All right. Bye, good Louis. night. See ya.